This video explains how to create miniature figures using 3D body scan and how to add custom sounds to Merklin MSD3 sound decoders. Hello and welcome to a video tutorial in which we will create miniature figures like this guy sitting here. We will do it using a body scan. Uh, this is a method which previously has been very demanding in terms of hardware and software and you have to really be a <laughs> kind of engineer to, to get it right. But with this new device, this is a Creality 3D Scanner Otter. It's actually pretty simple and also the quality gets really good. It has an accuracy up to 0.02 millimeters and scans objects from know, 10 by 10 millimeters up to 2 by 2 meters. So wide scanning range as well. And it's really fast, up to 20 frames per second. So to try this device out, I invited my friend Danne, who's a musician, uh, to scan him and make a HO scale figure to have on my layout. And this is what you see on the screen while scanning. So to the right here you can see how much of the object which has been completed. The bar in the middle helps you to keep optimal distance to the object. And the two small images shows you what you're currently pointing your scanner at. It took about five to seven minutes to make a 3D model of my friend here. After that I just resized the 3D model and printed him out in HO scale. The word travels fast so I almost instantly got uh, orders for five Danes from friends who also want him on their layouts. Actually six because my friend Magnus has an N scale layout so I printed Dana in N scale as well. Now Dana is all but a grey person. So we need to add some color and first up always is the skin tone and uh, suitable enough Vallejo has a natural skin tone color ready. So I'm using that, I'm just thinning it a bit in water so it floats better over the surfaces where I paint. Now like always when it comes to resin printed uh, models it's essential to add a layer of primer first and the primer should preferably not be water-based but some other solvent and once dry well then you can add the face or skin color so I add that on his hands in his face and also in his neck so here we are with that part now if we remember the clothes they were uh, light blue at the top and the dark blue jeans. So for this I'm using a medium blue together with white. And I'm gonna put uh, blue in one bowl here and white in the bowl next to it. And then also some thinner so we get a good float of the paint. So what I do I start by removing some of the blue paint into a third container here and then I also add white into that. So that way I get the kind of light blue for the top. So I intend to use the darker blue for the bottom part, the trousers or the pants. Now you might have wondered who the guy is to the right here. Well, that's actually my neighbor across the street here. And he's an excellent gardener, so I was thinking to have him on the layout, trimming the bushes and the static grass. All right, so here comes the dark blue paint for the trousers, like that. And with the, all the trousers made, and I'm removing the supports up to the guitar and also to his elbow. That simplifies paint work a lot. Now we're gonna add some uh, contours and contrast to the top here by adding um, a very light blue, very thin paint, so called uh, all wash. And I apply this kind of richly over the his jacket here and also on the front. Remove really excessive 
amounts using a cotton swab. Yeah. So when dry, looks like this. Highlights the detail and adds a bit more details to the surface. And then his white sneakers, of course. And uh, after that, only thing remaining is uh, uh, the hair, which is uh, kind of gray. And then the guitar, of course. The guitar should be painted in um, wooden color. I typically use flat earth for this. And if you like, you can mix it with uh, yellow uh, or white to get other colors of, of the guitar. Uh, his guitar was kind of yellowish actually so this is what it looks like when ready all right so far so good Don is ready and we can now place him on the layout where he will be playing for these two women but of course he should be playing something as well and for that we will need to add a custom sound into one of these MSD3 decoders I don't know if you have a bag like this I do because uh, decoders sometimes break down most often because the motor is jammed in some way and then the output for the motor burns but the sound still works so what you also need is one of these programming sticks uh, you uh, insert the decoder there and then you insert the programming stick into your pc then you start this uh, mdecoder tool which Merklin provides uh, free of charge from their website and while that is uploading the data we're going to Spotify to check out Danne Machmar's uh, songs there and I already know which one to pick it's uh, save my days uh, it's a song where he actually plays the guitar and it's actually one of my favorite songs. You should check out Danne uh, on Spotify if you like 80s style music. Uh, it's uh, really nice. I can really recommend it. So I'm now downloading this and, uh, and the Merklin decoder tool can handle both MP3 and WAV files. So whatever you have available, create a new folder inside the mcoder sound library and paste the sound file there. The next step is to include this song into the M decoder library. Select sound, sound library and create your own sound. And while clicking on that, we get to uh, this dialogue. Now, since we're adding music here, it doesn't really fit into any of the preset categories except sounds. So I select sounds and then click on the plus folder here but we're not creating a folder, but a new sound. So now we got to the right here, uh, all the selections for the sound. Uh, I'm gonna work with this top one, which called start wave. Start means that it's played once and then it stops. The other selections are for looping sounds, etc. So I'm clicking on that and then we have to find the, the song where we saved it. There it is. And then we select open on that one. And now you can see that it's uh, here in the first line. For start wave, it will be the song Save My Days with Danne Machmar. All right, so now we're done. All we need to do now is to click uh, on this blue arrow, which uh, kind of activates this. And then the green checkbox. Now we're back in the content for this actual decoder I brought from my bag. And it's been uploaded and here are the four sounds which were available in the original configuration. And I will uh, replace this uh, fiffer, which is horn. The other sounds are kind of looped or continuous sounds. So I'm, I'm just, I'm making life easy for myself here. I'm replacing this uh, horn with save my days so we can play it ah it works yeah very nice all right so then we're ready to download this into the decoder so uh, all we need to do is to click on the download button here to the right like that then we get a question if we really want to overwrite uh, what's in the decoder. We reply yes to that. 
and then it will ask us if we also want to download the sound and we want that for sure so just click ok here and now the sound package and the configuration for the decoder is downloaded into the decoder. When with that done, we are ready to uh, first disconnect this uh, programming uh, stick and then disconnect the decoder from that stick. Now we need a motherboard uh, as well. I have a bunch of these um, already lying around. I don't know if you also have it. It follows with the MSD3 decoders when you buy them. And this one follows as well. And typically two of them, so there is always one left. Now when connecting this decoder to the tracks again, it might happen it hasn't been uh, online. And then it will sign in with the MFX system automatically. We click on the MFX symbol to check that it's working. Yes, Don is playing Save My Days for the ladies here. Well, this is great. And as you might have figured, I will also download other functions and sounds into this decoder by the Chosk so it can play back all kind of events there. And it's a good thing, since one of these decoders is like 100 euro each, it's a shame to throw them away when you can reuse them on new position on the layout. Alright, so, <laughs> not all that complicated to make body scans and also not all that expensive either. And once you have the scanner, you can scan all kinds of things, of course, not just your friends <laughs> doing things, uh, but also objects, of course. And I think it's, it's actually very nice. Now I got mo both my neighbor and uh, my friend uh, on the layout. And it's, uh, I think it's uh, great fun. It's a really nice amendment. And hey, <laughs> I love gad gadgets, so why not? If you like the channel and the content I'm presenting here uh, and have use for it, Please support the channel, get over to Patreon, set up a support account there from, you know, like one, two dollars per month or make a one-off donation found in the video description below. And if you're not yet a subscriber, subscribe, enable that little bell and you will get a notification once next video gets published. Until that happens, see ya.